Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to figure out what's draining the battery on your Android device and give you some solutions on how to fix it. Alright so I'm going to do this in two stages. First I'm going to assume that you're not rooted in which case your options are a bit limited but there are still several ways to identify and resolve battery draining issues. Then once we've made it through the non-root tips I'll go over some options for the rooted users out there. So first up is Android's battery menu. This is something everybody should be familiar with regardless of your root status. Depending on your device and your Android version, this screen may look a little different and might even be in a different location. But for most users, start by heading to the main settings menu on your phone or tablet, then tap the battery entry. And here you'll see a graph that shows your battery discharge rate, and beneath that you should see a list of apps and services. The entries in this list are ordered by how much battery they've drained. If everything is working like it should, the top entry here should be screen. But let's say that's not the case. Maybe you have an app listed as your biggest battery drain. Well if that's what's happening, the easiest way to fix it would be to uninstall the battery draining app. That's easy enough, just head to the apps menu in settings, then uninstall the problematic app. But if it's a system app, you can't normally uninstall those without root. Well if you have a Windows computer, I've got an easy to follow guide that can help you disable any app without being rooted. And by the way, all the guides mentioned here will be linked out at the full tutorial for this one. So that also includes any relevant download links for any apps you see here. So head over to Gadget Hacks to get everything you'll need. But let's say the app at the top of your list is one you installed yourself, but you can't live without it. Consider restricting permissions for this app. Things like Wake Lock and Start on Boot are two permissions that will kill your battery. So if you can remove those permissions, you can save battery. I've covered an app called UU App Purifier that will let you remove permissions for apps you've installed yourself, so that should be a big help in this regard. On a related note, one of the biggest battery killers on Android is the Facebook app. If you have that installed and it's near the top of your battery list, I could understand if you don't want to be cut off from the world's biggest social network. But that doesn't mean you have to use the official Facebook app. For one, you could just use the mobile site, but that's not as fluid of an experience as an app would provide. So if you want to use Facebook with an app that doesn't drain your battery as much as the official client, you should check out Tinfoil for Facebook. It provides a nice front end for the web version of Facebook that doesn't hold wake locks or start on boot, so it should save quite a bit of battery life. So to review, the stock battery menu is the best way to identify battery troubles without being rooted, and once you've found any apps that are draining too much battery, you can either uninstall them, disable them, modify their permissions, or replace them with a more battery friendly version. But for rooted users, you have a few more options and some of these don't require that you sacrifice any usability. The main point of emphasis if you're rooted should be wake locks. These are requests from apps that prevent your phone from sleeping so that the app can sync data or post notifications. Really though, wake locks are a necessary evil, but some apps request way too many and this of course leads to unnecessary battery drain. So to figure out which apps are the worst offenders on your device, I'd suggest downloading an app called Wake Lock Detector. There are similar apps like Better Battery Stats that would work just the same, but this is the best free option in my opinion. The developer recommends that you have at least 90% battery life remaining before you run Wake Lock Detector for the first time. If you're in a pinch though, you can simply reboot your phone immediately after installing the app. But once you've got it all set up, give the app as much time as you can for it to accumulate data. Eventually you'll start seeing apps pop up in this list, and they're ordered by how long they've held wake locks. This will obviously vary from device to device, but some of the most common offenders in this list are Google Play Services, Google Search, and of course Facebook. So when you've figured out which apps are holding the most wake locks, you have a few options. First, you can always uninstall an app if you're rooted. Something like Titanium Backup would help with that. But if you have the Expose framework installed, there's an awesome Expose module that can help quite a bit without having to remove any apps. It's called Amplify and it works by limiting the amount of wake locks that an app can set in a given time frame. So you can continue to use the app like normal, but it won't drain your battery nearly as much. But again, I've got all that stuff covered in more detail at the full tutorial, so be sure to check that out. In the end, I hope this video helps you learn a little bit about what's been draining the battery on your Android device, and maybe even helped you solve some of your biggest issues. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.